Hello, here is a photo that I would like to edit in this video. Here I will make green shades colder, but I will try to keep the variability of warm shades and at the same time I will increase contrast of the whole photo. I'm going to set up the main color on AB grid. I switch to square grid and select CMYK color model. I pin neutral colors and pin the part of the yellow green spectrum. I'm going to shift to the center of the grid the colors that are close to the neutrals to make the stone on which the girl is sitting on gray. Now I will pull the corner of the grid towards the center. That's what happened. Here's before and here's after. Here are the colors that my final image will have. So what remains is to add contrast and saturation. I will increase the saturation on channels tab. Red color has become oversaturated, so I will set the saturation limit with this slider. You can increase or decrease the effect of channel mixer of specific colors using lighten and darken sliders. I'm going to increase the effect on the colors that have become darker by moving the darken slider to the right. How else can you add contrast? I can go to Volume tab, select Shadows Highlights Mode. I push the point responsible for the highlights towards the green. That is, light green shades will become even lighter. The point which is responsible for the shadows, I'm going to move away from the green. That is, the dark green colors will become darker. The same point can be used to adjust brightness of red shades in the shadows, if you move it closer or further away from red on color field. Now I go to CL Grids. I will raise here the variability in contrast. I'm going to make greens in the shadows colder. I'm rotating the grid. Now I'm pulling the point up in the shadows with the shift key pressed down. I'm going to compensate my actions on the other side of the grid to keep the neutrals gray. I will make light green shades a little warmer. I will do the same on the upper grid with warm shades. Let's go to the Curves tab. I will reduce the saturation in the highlights and raise it a little in the shadows. I'm making saturated colors darker and neutral shades lighter. Now I'm going to CMYK2 Curves to set the color and contrast. And that's what happened. Here's before. Here is after. I set the color and raise the contrast. Now all the flowers along this man-made waterfall are clearly visible. That's all. I hope you learned something after this lesson. Don't forget to like it and subscribe to stay tuned. See you in the next one.